What's going on? Bear vs. Wolf here again with another video. Um, today we're going to compare the M1 MacBook Air with the M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch. Um, base model on the MacBook Air, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 um, storage. And on the um, MacBook Pro 14, we've got um, 16 gigs of RAM base, but I do have the 10 core uh, CPU. Um, so a little bit uh, jacked up CPU there, but I just wanted to compare this specifically for audio um, testing each with it. I'm just gonna put up a big session um, and see how they react, because it is different. Um, I was hoping that the M1 Air would uh, basically facilitate all my needs uh, for big sessions, recording drums uh, with lots of tracks, lots of plugins, all that stuff. And it does do a pretty great job. It's impressive. If you're starting from <clears throat> zero, and you're trying to uh, record track by track by track, it's gonna do a killer job for a really long time. Um, but I'm finding with the biggest sessions, uh, it's a little laggy, uh, not super punchy. When you go to uh, open uh, plugin windows and stuff, it does lag out a little bit. So I'm gonna try to show that here. Um, and just a quick comparison, I'm gonna pull up the same session on each computer uh, that's pretty large and uh, just see how they look. And then we'll look at the um, CPU usage as well and uh, see how they compare. So here we go. Okay, so here we are in Pro Tools. We got a little session. This is a tune of mine called Sharpen the Blade, Bear vs. Wolf song. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it or not, but that's not really the point. Um, we have the system usage window open in the bottom here, and you can see the memory. This has eight gigs of RAM, 23% is where the memory is sitting. You've got six cores in this machine, but you gotta remember, uh, or you have, sorry, you have eight cores in this machine, but four of them are efficiency cores, so only four actually show up here. So at first glance, uh, it looks pretty good. Most of this stuff is only at about a quarter, you know, 24%, 25%. But up top, you've got the total CPU is being taxed almost halfway, uh, so about 40%, mm, getting higher here and there. So. So there's about 30 audio tracks and there's about 40 uh, plugins throughout the whole session with four aux uh, sends set up at the end here for verb, doubling, uh, room reverb, and delay. So at first glance, it looks pretty good, except we're about half taxing the CPU, which is pretty high. I mean, you're, you're causing this thing to run pretty hot. So, and all we're doing right now is asking it to play this back. So. What had happened in, already today, um, when I tried to shoot this the first time, I got a spinning beach ball as soon as I tried to come over here on the all guitar tracks and put a compressor across this. So we'll see if it happens again. But I'm gonna use this uh, Purple Audio, basically 1176 thing. Get it compressing a little bit. This is just going across all my guitars. So, so on the last attempt, uh, this all froze up. So we're doing better now. So you are able to play it back. It can handle these big sessions um, in terms of playback, and that's just the end of the song. Um, and you can cruise around the session and stuff. Oop. Um, but it does have hangups, and sometimes when I, you know, bring up a plugin and I try to work with it, this is it's connected to power right now, so I'm thinking it's getting a little bit more power. But if you do it, you know, not connected to power, sometimes you get hangups. Um, you try to move knobs and things, and they just won't move quickly. It's actually reacting great right now, and I think that actually might just be because it's plugged in, um, connected to power. So it's, uh, it's acting a little bit better than it has uh, for me in the past. But you can see, not a ton of plugins yet. I mean, I still have some work to do here, um, and I'm already getting a little bit of hangups and stuff. So aside the fact that the bars look really good in the system usage, um, <clears throat> you can't have problems. So uh, we're gonna switch over to the MacBook Pro now and see what that looks like. Okay, here we are in Pro Tools again on the MacBook Pro, you can see my little notch up here to prove it's a MacBook Pro. 
Uh, so again, this is 16 gigs of RAM. This is the 10 core CPU version. I'm gonna go ahead and play the session. We got the same session here. Um, like about, I think I said about 30 tracks, roughly 40 plugins. Um, so if you come over here and look at the CPU usage, whoops. Um, we're down here in the memory now, 14%, 15%, which makes sense. Uh, it was about halfway up on the MacBook Air. And over here, it's only about 15%. So this is 16 gigs of RAM versus eight gigs of RAM. Uh, then, this being the 10 core version, I've got eight um, power cores and two efficiency cores. Uh, so, you know, these are, most of these are seven, eight, 10, 13, 20, you know, 15%, 16% max over here. And the total CPU usage is about 20%. I'm hovering around 22, 23 uh, versus I think it was 40 and above on the MacBook Air. So obviously you've got more power and more cores here and you've got more RAM. So that's a good thing. Um, the question is, how does it act? And I have used this um, computer for about a week now. In a big session, I just recorded uh, drums uh, for a client uh, and we had about uh, nine tracks, I think, of drums recording at once over his sessions, which were pretty large. Um, and it worked flawlessly. There wasn't one single hang up. I didn't get a beach ball once. Uh, I didn't have any uh, errors in Pro Tool errors, you know, uh, what do they call those DAE errors? None of that stuff. So I'll try to put the same plugin up over here that we did on the last one. was that um, purple audio there we go so this guy just across the guitar bus again not really about what it sounds like for this demo but just trying to see if I can get this um, system usage yeah and it doesn't you know it doesn't even um, phase it really to do anything come in here everything's liquid smooth um, I was impressed actually with the MacBook Air plugged in that it, it did seem to um, work a little smoother than I have had I've had issues with it in the past where the the plugins kind of hang up a little bit so uh, overall I mean you know you're talking about I had I bought both of these refurbished and you're talking about um, 850 for the MacBook Air and more like 1800 for the MacBook Pro. So, you know, when you when you put together the ports and the the screen is a little bit better, bigger, obviously, um, and just perfection as far as how Pro Tools works. At least for me, so far, I have not had any issues, not one single stoppage of error at all. So. Um, that's it. All right, so just a quick recap. Uh, that was the Air versus the Pro. Um, you can see the, the Pro, obviously, at least in the system usage, uh, is getting hit a lot less hard than the Air, which makes sense. I mean, it's a more powerful computer. So the Air can do it. Um, it can run a darn full session with lots of plugins, lots of, um, you know, there's a couple of virtual instruments there, some virtual cabinets and stuff for guitars going on. A lot of my guitars are recorded direct. Uh, about 40 plugins, like I said, so it can do it. Um, I'll put, I, I'll put, try to put in this video. I did get a beach ball, you know, while I was trying to do this. So um, not on the pro, the air only. So, you know, uh, it's 16 gigs versus eight gigs of RAM. You've got 10 processors, eight if you count the power cores, versus four if you count the power cores of the air. It's eight versus four. Total, it's 10 versus eight you know, but four efficiency cores on the M1. Uh, so it's up to you. This is, um, if you think it's worth uh, spending the bucks. It's I, I bought both of these refurbished, uh, 850 for the Air and um, 1800 for the Pro. So quite a bit of difference in terms of what you spend. But again, the, um, the Pro uh, has had zero issues not seeing not one single uh hang up or hiccup no beach ball ever yet on the pro and i ran a big session full of drums 
um, this this past weekend for a client, we were recording drums, maybe nine, ten tracks over his full um, sessions, and we had again zero problems, not one hang up, not one hiccup, not one anything uh, on the pro. So it's it's impressive. It really does fly. It screams. That's the deal, Bearverse Wolf. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, a lot more to come. Like, subscribe, do that whole thing. Um, appreciate you watching. Thanks.